Four astronauts were supposed to blast off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on a rescue mission. It's a SpaceX mission to bring home two astronauts who have been stuck in space since June. Fox's Kaylee Schuyler joins us live from Cape Canaveral, Florida tonight, where the takeoff was scrubbed just in the past hour. Have, do they have another date in mind on when they might try again? Hey, good evening, John and Christina. So NASA has said that there are alternate launch times for tomorrow and Friday. Specifically, the time tomorrow would be 7.26 p.m. Eastern, so a very similar time as tonight. And being out here tonight, just over an hour ago, there were hundreds of people lined up here at Jetty Park. Some people drove, came from Montana, some came from Wisconsin. I even spoke to a family who drove 21 hours from Canada. So I quickly started asking people, you know, are you going to come back? if this happens within the next few days and a lot of people said yes of course they wanted to come back um, as long as they have the flexibility so it seems like a lot of people want to see their first launch if they haven't seen one before so they were really bummed when NASA announced that this was a hydraulics issue with the launch tower and it seems like this issue happened pretty quickly because I was looking at NASA's blog at 655 they posted that this launch was a go then less than 20 minutes later they announced that this was going to be scrubbed so when this launch does eventually happen. This is going to be the crew that is going to be heading to the International Space Station. So starting from the left is Nicole Ayers from Colorado. She'll be a pi she will be a pilot on this mission and this is her first time going to ISS. Beside her is Krill Peskov, a cosmonaut from Russia. This is also his first space flight. The commander is Anne McLean from Washington. This will be her second space flight. On her first mission, McLean spent 204 days in space and completely Completed to spacewalks. And then the fourth crew member is Takuya Onishi from Japan. This is his second mission after spending 113 days in space last time. NASA says this crew will conduct more than 200 experiments during their mission, and the research will help prepare for future deep space missions. Now, that crew will meet NASA astronauts Bush Wilmore and Sonny Williams, who have been stuck in space for nine months now. They were on Boeing's first manned flight of the Starliner, but that craft had issues. So NASA, NASA brought it down to Earth with no one on board. Once Crew 10 reaches ISS, there will be a short handover, and then Williams, Wilmore, and two others will come back home. Members of Crew 10 were saying last week that they are very excited to see the Crew 9 members whenever this launch potentially might happen. Now, NASA was supposed to have a post-launch uh, news conference tonight. They have canceled that, so now we're just kind of waiting to see uh, when they announce that next date. It could all depend on how bad this uh, hydraulics issue really was of course you know top of mind with launches like this is precision and safety so hopefully we'll hear soon about uh, when you know people can head back out here and see uh, this launch in Cape Canaveral Florida Kaylee Schuyler Fox 10 News Kaylee thanks for that